This is the new Phyrexia deck uh, intro pack, Artful Destruction. Uh, the featured card is Blade Splicer, uh, which is one of the rares. It's a topper. Uh, there are there's only one of this card in this deck, but really uh, I would have played four. I remember playing against this card when it was in standard, and uh, the fact that it pops out a three-three colorless golem artifact creature. Uh, when it enters the battlefield is very painful indeed. But there's only one in the intro pack. Uh, it's also got two uh, Setcher Se Priest, uh, two drop, one one, which is really the, the lightest uh, creature uh, in the deck. Uh, surprisingly, there aren't any one drops. Uh, and whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may gain one life. Uh, uh, Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under an opponent's control, you may have that player lose one life. That's great. Uh, that's um, that's a really great card. Uh, then it's got three copper mirrors, which are your uh, green mana fixers. Uh, two drop, one one, and you can add uh, one uh, green to your mana pool or forest. Uh, the same with gold mirror. There's three of them, and you can add a uh, white. Uh, to your mana pool. So those are your mana fixers. Uh, then you've got two palladium mirrors, uh, three drops, two, two. And you can add two uh, colorless to your mana pool. Uh, then you've got three master splicers. Um, and this one is a four drop one one, so it's got to have a benefit. Uh, so when it enters the battlefield, you pull, you put another one of those three, three colorless golem or artifact creatures onto the battlefield. And golem creatures you control get plus one, plus one. So it's kind of like what's called a lord. It gives um, counters to a specific type of creature. Uh, this is something like a very playable deck. Then you have two of vital splicer, a four drop, uncommon. Uh, also master splicers are uncommon. And it's a one, one. And uh, when, when it enters the battlefield, these are all when it enters the, the battlefield, which are great, great abilities. Put yet another 3-3 three, three colorless golem creature token onto the battlefield. And for one drop, you can regenerate uh, a target golem you control. That's really good. You're giving uh, regeneration f uh, shields to uh, a lot of your golems if you got this card in play. It's a 4-drop 1-1, one, one, but boy, it drops another one of these 3-3 three, three, uh, artifact creatures. That's very useful. Uh, Sensor Splicer is a 5-drop 1-1, one, one. and again, when it comes into the battlefield, you get to drop another one of these tokens. So, uh, and Golem creatures you control have Vigilance. Uh, so that's a very useful feature. It's got one of Gurk's uh, pack leader from M11, from Magic 2011, a 5-drop 4-4. Four, four. Whenever another creature with power 3 or greater enters the battlefield, uh, you may draw a card. So it's a cantrip. You can draw something. Uh, it's got a rare from Scars of Meridan, Precursor Golem. Uh, it's a 5-3-3. Three, three. Yet again, I love these. You drop a Golem, 3-3, three, three, whenever it enters the battlefield. Uh, whenever a player casts an instant or sorcery spell that targets only a single Golem, that player copies that spell for each other Golem that spell could target. Each copy targets a different one of those Golems. It could be your opponent, so uh, so I think this one is uh, can get mirrored pretty badly from what I'm reading. Golem Artisan is a five drop three three uncommon, also from Scars of Mirror Then, and for uh, an additional two, uh, target artifact creature gets plus one plus one until end of turn. Also for an additional two, it gains flying, trample, or haste until end of turn. That could be very useful. There's only one in the deck though. Very low probability of, uh, of actually getting to play it in a game or two. Likewise for Stone Golem, another 5-drop, now 4-4 four, four Vanilla, uh, which is pretty standard for a, uh, an artifact creature. Uh, Brutalizer Exarch is a 6-3-3, three, three, and when it enters the battlefield, you get to pick something. You can search your library for a creature card, reveal it, then shuffle your library and put that card on top of it, or put target non-creature permanent on the bottom of its owner's library. Hopefully, you're one of your opponents. And then the uh, there's another creature, an artifact, 
Six drop five four vanilla. That's all right. Lake gamer. Moss splicer. Uh, this is your biggest creature. There's only one, of course. It's a seven drop one one. When it enters the battlefield, you put two of the three three golem artifacts. Uh, so this artifact really gets a lot of heavy play in the deck. Uh, sorry about that. I'm trying to pull the uh, the artifact golem creature uh, just so you can see it because it's featured in almost every card that I've read so far. Um, then we're going to go through uh, the uh, spells, the non-creature spells. It's got two Cultivate. I love this card from Magic 2011. It's a three drop. Search your library for up to two basic land cards. Reveal them. Put one on the battlefield tap and the other into your hand. Then shuffle your library. That's great. Uh, Giant Growth, which is now in return to Ravnica as well. Uh, for a one drop, you can uh, bump plus three, plus three for one of the, your creatures. Then uh, a single instant Mighty Leap from Magic 2011, a two drop. Uh, target creature gets two plus two plus two and gains flying. So you turn one of your green cards into a flyer, and that really helps because a lot of the green cards, uh, green cards don't fly. Bliss of Scorn is a two drop instant. Destroy target artifact. It, it, its controller loses one life. I was trying to read that too fast. Either way, this is more for a, a block full of artifacts like Scars of Mirror than was. Uh, two of War Report, four drop instant. You gain life equal to the number of creatures on the battlefield, plus the number of artifacts on the battlefield. Again, good for this block. Viridian Harvest is a one drop enchantment aura for, to enchant an artifact. Again, very block specific. Uh, when enchanted artifact is put into a graveyard, you gain six life. Uh, then two of Force Worship, you can enchant a creature, it's an enchantment aura, to drop, uh, and the enchanted creature cannot attack. For an additional three, uh, you can return this card back to your hand so you can play it again. Uh, Conversion Chamber is a three drop artifact, there's only one in the deck, and for two more, you and tapping it, you exile target card from a uh, artifact card from a graveyard. Uh, that could have been really useful in a, in a Scars of Mirror than blog if you had, say, like a warm coil. Your opponent had a, like a warm coil engine in the graveyard. You would have really wanted to play this card, and then you get to put a charge counter on this card. Every time you remove a charge counter after tapping and paying two, uh, you can put yet again our dear friend the three three column. So there it is.